Here we are for chapter nine. So like I said, I'm trying to get a few chapters written in one day. So you're seeing this over multiple days, but I've been writing for one day. And this is the point where I realize that it is difficult to write multiple chapters in one day. So for chapter nine, I'm continuing on with Lorenzo's point of view. And for the most part, it seems to be going fine. I hit the next plot point that I wanted to of like kind of moving the story somewhere. But the thing is, is it's like, at this point, it's like the creative brain just starts to slow down and just turn to sludge. <laughs> and so I started to recognize it in writing this chapter. And this is the first one where I've had to actively like really push myself to get to my mandatory word count goal before I can call it on a chapter. And that mandatory word count is a thousand words. I've decided for myself I have to write a minimum of a thousand words before I can call it quits on that chapter. Honestly, it was a little rough and I was like, well, do I just start editing to like fluff it like I normally would? And it was like, no, add to the story. And so I was like, fine. And it's a self-imposed rule of I have to hit a thousand words. But that way, when I go to do the editing phase, I'm not hitting these chapters where I just kind of ran out of steam in the moment. And it's like 300 words, 600 words, 800 words. And then there's like a chapter of like 3,000 words and then back to 300. Like, I want it to at least be a thousand words minimum before I will let that chapter just exist. And again, the editing phase is where I will add in a lot of the words, but it was like, you can at least get a thousand words in for a chapter. And so it was a little rough, but honestly, it made me expand the ending of this chapter a little bit more, which I think was good. I think it was a good thing to make that be a little bit more of an ending keep going with the scene to see where it's going to play out instead of just jumping ahead to where the next chapter will pick up because sometimes when you start a new chapter you just kind of let go of the previous scene of what's going on and we jump into a new one and so this kind of forced me to really play out the rest of that scene as it would and then move into the next one in the next chapter. I have realized that I can only write maybe two chapters at a time before I need to really take a break and to really shift focus from writing into something else. Do something creative, something like maybe exercise or something, because at this point, this is when like the creativity is starting to stall out and it's like, I don't know what I wanna write. <laughs> like, but I have also decided that I think I wanna do blocks of seven chapters. I don't know why, I'm just feeling it this time. So, I did seven chapters for Kathy, and now I think I'm gonna do seven chapters for Lorenzo and see where the story goes. I might end up changing that later on, but at least right now I feel like the next seven chapters from his perspective would be interesting and to see where all I could go with that story because I want it to be probably at the end of chapter seven where their two storylines will merge. And so I've got a lot of time to figure out like what is gonna happen with these other set of characters in the meanwhile of what's been happening for the first seven. That's kind of where we are for chapter nine. I'm not really sure where the rest of the story is going to go at all right now, but that's my current game plan. That's why I like making these videos talking about the writing process and how sometimes you figure it out as you go. So anyways, do make sure to check out my books. I always have them linked down below. I would love to hear how your writing process is going in the comments as well. Make sure to like and subscribe. I post every other day. And until next time, thank you so much for watching and I'll see y'all soon.